when we combine our hands-on skills with electromyography and musculoskeletal sonography imaging, we move from educated guesswork to objective precision. And this changes everything, not just for the patient, but for the entire healthcare system. All right, so what is the evidence then? How EMG changes patient management? So let's look at the evidence. Well, in 2018, a study was performed by Lindstrom and Ashworth. That study was published by Muscle and Nerve, which is one of the most prestigious publications in the electrodiagnostic profession. And that study found that electrodiagnostic testing resulted in 51.5% change in diagnosis and in 46.5% confirmation of an existing diagnosis. And 63.4% had a change in patient management. This is very important. The authors concluded that EMG testing significantly guides diagnosis and treatment in neuromuscular disorders. In other words, EMG just doesn't only confirm what we already know, but it changes what we do. I'm going to say that again. EMG testing, the evidence shows that it does not just confirm what we already know, but it changes what we do. It leads to better, more accurate treatment. Now, let's see, because this study was done in general practice and uh, pain management, neurology, and primary care clinics. Now, let's see a study that we undertook as an organization and published in 2020 that was done over in multiple centers across the country with the participation of 462 patients. Very robust study. So in this study, performed by Dr. Rawat, myself, and Dr. Isopoulos, and many others of our colleagues, it was published in the Journal of Body Work and Movement Therapies. In that study, we found that 60 0.61% of patients had their management plan changed after the performance of EMG nerve conduction testing. And 92% of the patients reported high or very high value from the performance of the diagnostic test. Well, patients felt they understood their condition better and they were more confident in their treatment and were more likely to follow through with the physical therapy care. Well, that's clinical transformation in action. 